Campaign attack ads have increased as we approach the finish line for the March 1st primary election. This midterm, we've seen multiple Republican candidates prominently feature one man. Ken Paxton, by complete and total endorsement. Former President Donald Trump, he has endorsed candidates in statewide races like governor and attorney general, but also local races like Tarrant County Judge. It serves as a powerful mobilizing tool in a low turnout election. So someone who has President Trump's endorsement can count on a core of built-in motivated supporters to go to the poll on their behalf. Former Fort Worth Mayor Bessie Price has been hit left and right with attack ads from Tim O'Hare claims price calls lies. Betsy Price, disqualified to be a Republican. Tim O'Hare, endorsed by President Trump and Ted Cruz. About my opponent's lies, bless his heart, I know being honest is the only way to lead Tarrant County. In this race, SMU political scientist Matthew Wilson says the Trump factor could hurt Price. It's the combination of the negative ads and the Trump endorsement, because the Trump endorsement gives some credibility among a segment of the Republican base to those charges. Uh, so he's alleging that he is significantly more conservative than Betsy Price, that he is a culture warrior where she is not. In the Republican primary for Texas's third congressional district, Republican Van Taylor is trying to keep his seat. Taylor's opponents have tried to hammer him on his vote to certify the 2020 election results and support for an independent commission to investigate the January 6th riot. Taylor voted no on the question to create a House committee to investigate the insurrection. You see, it isn't good enough just to vote the right way some of the time. Right now, we have career politicians. While Taylor is being called out for what some Republicans say was a betrayal, Wilson believes the Trump factor won't hurt him. I think he's pretty safe. Uh, his opposition within the primary is pretty nominal, and his district was made safer during redistricting, uh, strengthening the Republican character of that district. Conservative challengers for governor like Don Huffines claim incumbent Greg Abbott is not conservative enough, but that doesn't match reality. Governor Abbott has taken some of the most conservative stances in recent months and also has the endorsement of former President Donald Trump. So Huffines will try to make that argument, but the fact that Trump has endorsed Abbott also kind of undercuts the claim that Abbott is really a rhino, not a true conservative. Um, and, and so this is a case where if there were any doubt, Trump's endorsement on Abbott's side really kind of puts that line of criticism to rest. And I think Abbott will win.